Hello, Chris Ward here with SwimmingPoolHowTo.com and Lazy Day Pools. Um, this video is answering the question for pool owners, what is groundwater and does my pool have groundwater issues? Um, groundwater is water that exists in the crust of the earth. Okay, So when you dig a well, that's what you're digging the well for is to get to the groundwater inside of the ground. Um, ground groundwater um, exists in many forms. There's underground streams, underground lakes. Um, there's also, uh, you know, the water table that everybody's familiar with. So, so basically, for example, in Florida, if you dig down three or four feet deep in Florida, in most most parts of the state of Florida, you're going to get to, um, you're going to reach water pretty fast because the water table is so high. That's why in Florida. Uh, they don't generally build vinyl line pools. They generally build gunite pools because of the water table. Um, in groundwater can cause damage in a lot of ways uh, to your swimming pool through hydrostatic lift. And basically, hydrostatic lift is just the um, force of the water pushing up on the swimming pool. So basically, if you have a gunite swimming pool, the force of the water can essentially turn your gunite pool or the shell of your pool into a boat and, and force it upwards. And um, I've actually seen pools that were damaged by hydrostatic lift or groundwater that uh, completely destroyed the swimming pools, uh, pushed them up three feet out of the ground with the concrete deck coming with it. And um, the way that people uh, or the way that pool builders prevent that kind of damage from happening is they they'll put a hydrostatic valve in the bottom of your pool drain that basically pops up and allows the groundwater to come into the pool and equalize the pressure in the event that the groundwater gets so bad that uh, that it's going to push the that it, that it has the potential of pushing the pool out of the ground and um, so the the uh, general way of thinking is that it's much better to have a little bit of dirty groundwater come into your pool than it is to lose, you know, a $60,000 gunite pool. Um, for vinyl pools, hydrostatic lift causes damages in several different ways. First, um, hydrostatic lift can push uh, pebbles and other hard items up through the soil, up underneath the liner. Um, which generally don't isn't going to cause uh, problems or anything like that, but um, you know it, it doesn't look good. I mean, when you when you have uh, pebbles come up through the ground and push up under the liner, you can see them. And um, the way to prevent that is to do a completely new pool bottom with uh, vermiculite, a, a good thick uh, layer of vermiculite on the pool bottom. Um, we use poolcrete to do ours, but basically if you do a brand new pool bottom in, in poolcrete, generally the hydrostatic lift is not strong enough to push uh, pebbles up through that. And um, the other way that it, uh, hydrostatic lift harms your vinyl pools is it can lift the vinyl. It, it causes uh, pool liners to lift or float. Um, and basically it, it, the, the water pressure underneath the liner equalizes the water pressure on top of the liner as, as groundwater pushes underneath the pool liner from the earth and it causes the liner to float up off the ground and in, in some extreme cases it can actually cause the entire liner to push out of the liner track and cave in on itself. We've seen that several times. Um, and uh, Groundwater generally, if you have a super wet season where you have two weeks of rain and the and the water table rises significantly, that's when you can see groundwater um, issues occur. Uh, shifting streams underground can cause groundwater to occur. Um, there's all sorts of things like that. The only way that I know of um, to prevent groundwater is to create some kind of a French drain system or a sump drain system that uh, gets rid of the water when the water table rises. Um, but uh, that's it. And uh, groundwater is, we see groundwater in about 5% of our swimming pools here in, in Atlanta. Um, I know it's different in depending on what part of the United States you're in. But uh, but around here, we see it in about 5% of the pools that we, we do. Um, that's it for the uh, video. Look forward to seeing you soon.